It's at 11. An ex-JSO corrections officer is behind bars accused of hurting his pregnant ex-girlfriend yesterday. Good evening, I'm Jeff Vallon. JSO says 22-year-old Jarvis Brennan resigned after he was arrested on an aggravated battery charge. On your side's Troy Kless has the story. And uh, I'm more than happy that he is no longer A, our employee, or B, uh, able to make his way around in public. JSO's Tom Hackney says Jarvis Brannon's resignation makes life easier for Jacksonville citizens. Brannon charged with aggravated battery of a pregnant female. Hackney says that Brannon's ex-girlfriend was packing up his things at a West Side home. When Brannon came over, police say that he refused to get his belongings or leave the house. They say during an argument, Brannon pushed his ex, who was four months pregnant. He elected to lay his hands on her. I mean, that's just uh, beyond acceptable. According to a police report, Brandon was arrested in the 1800 block of Executive Center Drive. This is the third arrest of a JSO officer in 2019. Rodney Bryant was arrested in March for pulling a gun on his girlfriend at a club. Matthew Butler is facing charges of sexual battery with a child. According to JSO, Brandon is the first officer since 2017 to be arrested for domestic battery. The victim in Brandon's case is also a civilian employee with the sheriff's office. While Brandon's work relationship with her is unclear, JSO says Brandon won't be hurting her again. My tolerance level for those who want to put their hands on their partners is extremely low. Now, Brennan was employed with JSO since 2016. Now, according to the report, he received a written reprimand for violating department policy with a failure to conform to work standards. Brennan is due in court tomorrow morning.